So we're doing a wee bit of dismantle today, guys. Um, came at the decision where the boot is. I'm just going to buy the panel, so I decided just to start stripping elsewhere. Um, got rid of quite a lot in the car. Um, drained off the fluids, got the carburetor off, radiator, fan, pipes, all sorts. Got the, the heater off as well. Um, next will be the foot pedals will be coming off. The f whoever mounted this has mounted it. Oh, it's absolutely just a pain in the ass to be perfectly honest. With some of the nuts and the washers and things they put on it, like a hodgepodge kind of thing. So that's an absolute nightmare. Um, but yeah, um, try to keep keep you know the place tidy a little bit. Um, so just shove some stuff in the car just to kind of try and tidy some stuff up. Um, cleaned up the high lows that were on the car as well. They came up really well, um, nice and shiny now. Um, again, more pieces out the car. Uh, put those up on the on the wall, out the road. Um, yeah, but I've been kind of just trying to get as much done as possible. Um, decided I'm probably going to go and purchase a, a new welder as well. I uh, done the other drum. Just need to uh, spray paint that. Probably do that shortly, actually, and I can leave that just to dry, and that'll be for this evening. Um, when I obviously went to the engine, I went to the, uh, the kind of, you can see, you know, it's, it's goosed, absolutely goosed. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's it. So as you can see, guys, this is the, the rear drum. Um, it's pretty manky, um, but overall it's not that bad. Um, as I said, uh, you know, I'm trying to utilise as much of the stuff that I've got in the car as possible without having to replace at this point anyway. Um, so that's that's the before, and uh, you probably well that I've shown you that is after. I think we can see there's a, a big bit of a difference between uh, the two. Um, obviously this one looks worse than that, but you know. <laughs> right, going to get this one done. Um, this is pretty much just wire wheel. Um, all the way around, uh, get it all cleaned off, and then what I did is I put a bit of Q-Rust all the way around the whole thing. Um, and then uh, just hammer it. it. Um, so hopefully the, the hammer it holds up to the kind of heat. If it doesn't, it's always easy enough to uh, take it back off and um, put on um, something specific for brakes. Uh, but we'll see how it goes, um, especially on these. Um, and yeah, we'll just take it from there. <laughs>
as you can see guys cleaned up uh, one of the rear drums and gave it a good spray of uh, hammerite I uh, don't know how how well that's going to hold up with the heat but it'll do just now um, I really kind of haven't got the funds to kind of get some of the panels I need at the moment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some of the work that I, that I can do without actually having to spend really that much um, for the moment and um, so there's a few things that have been put in hold and um, but yeah came out really really good looks like brand new and um, so yeah another step in the right direction